Hi, hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you all enjoyed your week. I hope you enjoyed also your weekend. I hope you all doing good. So today we are back for the finale. This is a very, very sad moment actually for us, for the fans of Rick Grimes, because I didn't expect this to be this short six episode. It is not enough for me. It is not doing anything for me. Uh, but something is very interesting in this season. They they, they are keeping a lot of things um, kind of secret or maybe they won't uh, give time to that. Like for example, the CRM, I didn't see much of it. I didn't see how it's working. I didn't see the leaders. I didn't see anything of this stuff. Maybe today we'll uh, have the chance to have the look at it since Rick Grimes has his interview for the briefing um so it's quite for me it's quite messy mysterious I have no idea what to expect from this episode especially it's the last one I mean if we're not getting a view if we're not getting in a little bit of Alexandria I'm gonna be seriously depressed since in the last episode the previous episode they uh, focused a lot on Jada's character who actually we said goodbye to this character but like I said before uh, this character should have died a long time ago because it's just a source of trouble she's not really someone that you can count on uh, she had betrayed them in so many times but they still uh, gave her chance uh, and even the in the last episode they did they still did trust her and they wanted I feel like they wanted to kind of team up with her but destiny wanted something else so she died and then now Rick and Michonne are committed to go back to the civic community and kill the CRM or change things or whatever they are planning to do and especially hide their existence from them since we all know now that the CRM only kill people to survive that's how they want to, that's this is their plan on several hundred of years uh, but I feel like yeah it's not that this is not what Michonne and Rick wants for their kids for their children they want a better world and the civic community are definitely not what they are um, hoping for in the future so yeah anyways let's see let's discover the episode six the finale of the walking dead the one who live with sadness i'm announcing this is gonna be the last reaction on the walking dead so far and yeah let's see let's discover what's gonna happen <laughs> Let's go. Give me something to do already. Over. Torn is not that stupid. Yeah. I'll also use that to hide the body. This is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well. This is messy. There is no plan, no... Finish this. Finish it, bro. This is what we have to do. Finish it. She's too much we're into her character. He should have going to go back inside. killed her since the and beginning. And you are going to undo whatever you did. Deal is dead, my brain. Okay, so now what? Exactly. Okay, I don't know what to think about this. I need a moment. So this scene is definitely giving me like the moment when he found um, Lori and Rick uh, and Carl back then when he lost them when he woke up in the in the hospital. I didn't. I was not expecting this actually. Like I said, 
I knew from the beginning, the moment that shit explodes, that there will be no more details or any scenes about the Ciara. And like I said, if you want a little bit know more about them, you can go to Beyond uh, the World, I guess so, uh, The Walking Dead, because there is more Ciara stories there than definitely in here. Here we can, okay. This is what to know from this episode is this this season is definitely uh, only about the love story between Rick and Michonne. This love story that a lot of us, I guess, was not really feeling this vibe and any connection. I mean, I was not feeling connection between Rick, like not a love connection between Rick and Michonne. It was more like a, a warrior connection between them. Together, they were strong. So even though they got with each other on season seven. I, I was like, I, this is not gonna, maybe this is gonna work. This is not gonna work. It's not, Rick likes, like I said last time, like he likes kind of like more fragile women, like the woman he's gonna protect. But mm, now he has a woman that she can protect him also. He doesn't really need to protect her. He give her, he gives her strength, like she said, that she doesn't feel scared because of him. Uh, but I feel like, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna complain or cry or whatever about the script and all this. I mean, I was, it's The Walking Dead. It's not the love story in Walking Dead. So, I mean, I get it. You gave the hand to Danae and Andrew Lincoln. Shout out to him for the great job he did through all this uh, show TV from the beginning. I mean, I preferred his character in the beginning. So from here, we understood, okay, they took over the CRM. They fixed things. Now Alexandria is pretty safe, but it doesn't answer my you know, suspicions or question about what happened when Carol called Daryl and told him, hey, Rick is back. And she said it in a very, you know, she looked, she felt, I felt like she was troubled and scared and something was wrong there. Um, why are we not seeing all Alexandria, only Judith and his kids? So, like I said, they wanted really to make it just about Rick and Michonne and his family. So now Rick, after eight years, they, they he's, fi he's finding again, he's meeting again with his children. And he can be in, I, I, I think so, I hope so, that he can be on both sides. He can be in the civic uh, community as he controls it. I think that they are the leader now to that community. Or he can just be in Alexandria and yeah, and, and be happy. But I was definitely expecting more things to happen before they you know, they changed the, the whole um, law or the whole way of thinking and of doing things in this new community. Um, so now he made it to his own community where they save people, they let people in, they let people out if they want to leave. And spe especially they stopped killing other communities and they're willing to open their uh, hands and give more resources to other communities rather than just exterminate them and kill them and take over whatever they had. Um, but still, I am, I don't know what to feel about it. I'm very happy. I think I was laughing from here to here. I was even, I was feeling emotional to see him back with Judy. Judy had grown up so badly. Like, this is the thing with, you know, young actors, just in two, three years, they can push uh, the very strongly. And now she's looking like a real teenager. And the kid is still, I mean, you need to give us more episodes and more, more things with him to, with Junior Rick to be able to get used to the character. I would love to see more. I definitely would love to see more. I have no idea. Guys, you let me know in the comment if you do know if this show is gonna keep going. I don't want it to last. 
by the way this was my favorite uh this is my favorite poster this is atlanta if i'm not mistaken and this show tv has started in 2010 we're in 2024 or 2010 or 13 i don't remember but i definitely remember that i knew about it in 2013 i started to watch it in 2013 12 13 something like that and since then i have been like i said before many times i have been surviving with those characters until today sometimes i don't really feel that well and i'm like let's go let's pretend we are in an apocalypse you know world and everything is gone so that my pain and the fact that i'm not feeling well also will just disappear because you know we have a reason to be sad the world has ended and i was surviving with them for so so many time and i grew up actually with a lot of those characters and i feel just like i i feel like maybe i will go and react i did it before but we never posted the videos i have did a video explaining to you guys why i had stopped reacting on the walking dead since season uh, eight seven or eight something like that after negan after they stopped negan i just felt back then that every th everything was going a little bit too much over the place too much new characters that we don't really have time to get uh like i said before also to get used to and then they just kill them and then they disappear and then they come back and it was just a whole mess in this and we can also talk before saying goodbye about the evolution of michonne i mean i've never i mean she's a mom so she's she will have this kind of, you know, woman's feelings and being uh, emotive and sensual or, or that, all that things that women has to deal with. Uh, but it's just very crazy and weird to see her going from not really even wanting to hold a baby. If you remember in the prison back then, Judith was crying and she was like, I, 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 I'm not sure about this. I don't want to do this to now being emotional and being scared and wanting to fight for her people and her kids and seeing this face i mean she was great playing this actually i loved how she was in the first episodes you know kind of just cold and and you know looking for rick and then discovering that this he's not the same man that she was expecting to find and then has to work through it and try to make it um to make him go back to his real identity and um yeah and then just they made it they made it they got what they wanted in the beginning and that proves to you that together they can do anything so i don't know what's the plan what they are planning for the walking dead in the future are they more fights to come are they more community but i do feel like it's way too possible first of all i would love to see negan back now that rick is back and he's a quite different man actually i feel like he went back to his origin way of being but in the way of like okay i'm not gonna kill i'll give chances to people because uh, if you remember after um after negan rick became very cold i mean after the governor Rick has become very cold and he lost so much and he didn't trust people anymore. And then we see it also after Negan was stopped, how he went after his man, how he killed until the last one of them. But in those episodes, we can see that he's not, he's not okay with this new community. He knew since the beginning that they were killing people. And, and we see him go with, uh, you know, michonne and finding people meeting people that he refuses to kill and just asks uh them to you know just promise him to not hurt other people and then leave him alone and that's what actually they did even though those groups end up uh, dead because of jadis jadis brings hell on, on people you know she's not very lucky person but 
anyways this was the end of the reaction the end of the review guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know if this show tv is still going or if this is just like you know end of season one because if there is season one there will be season two for sure <laughs> thank you very much for watching guys let me know in the comments what do you think about it let me know your side of story what do you think is gonna happen and yeah until i see you for other reactions now that the walking dead is gone i'm gonna have to go back to my uh the thing i like to do usually um uh, so yeah some more bollywood is gonna come a lot of other reactions vlog i hope you just yeah make sure you are following me make sure you are hitting the little thumbs up like that you will be notified with every new video i make and yeah until i see you again have a nice beginning of week and i love you very much bye Hi, Mommy.